What is going on guys, Tazwafa here, and welcome back to some more Arc Genesis Part 2. Now, last time we left off, we started building expanding out our base a little bit more, just so we actually have a place to actually put uh, stuff like the industrial cooker over here, as well as the upcoming industrial grill. So we ended up building this thing over here, it's kind of like a, uh, what did I, what I, I think I called it like a 12-sided thing, but while editing the video, I, I realized it was like a 9-sided thing, but it kind of looks like a shield or something like that. And what, what really sucks about this, though, is that I'm like, it's a really cool, interesting shape and whatnot. Like, it splits off, it forks off into that way and that way. That way, it's not like these other buildings over here where it, you know, has a direction that way, that way, and that way. And, of course, on the inside, we actually have a little bit of glass here in the middle, which is really cool for, like, looking outside, looking at the space and stuff like that. But, unfortunately, you know, right here, I wanted to put, like, the industrial cooker, and then maybe over here we put the industrial grill. For some reason, the industrial cooker, like, only, you can only place it down where it like like snaps like to a foundation and it doesn't snap to any like triangular foundations unfortunately and man i'm thirsty right now which i'm like thankfully we have these wells over here there you go i can drink that get a little bit of water out of that but i did get some helpful comments from you guys suggesting some things i could try out such as uh, i don't know if we have any extra pipes over here here we go uh saying i should try and get like these metal pipes try and place it down and then having the this thing actually snapping to the pipe itself i don't know if we could actually if that'll actually work i guess if we try it out like say, hmm, where would I do that? Where, 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 where could I test this out at? Because it would only snap to like say, like this foundation, this foundation, that foundation. So I wanted to have the industrial cooker here, maybe, and then like have it snap to say like right there. I guess if we try that out, see if it actually works. So I suppose we'll just pick this back. Uh, let's see. Oh, it's not even turned on right like that. So let's actually pick this up. I think there's a couple wires over that that it's attached to. So it oh, it didn't even break. Okay, cool. Uh, oh yeah. I think there's a way to, yeah, we, we learned that we could actually have, like, pipes within the foundation and stuff like that as well. I forgot about that. We need to look into that, you guys, but, uh, okay, it's obstructed there. It doesn't say, oh, there's no snap point or anything like that, so it just says it's obstructed. So, if I do want to have it placed down there, maybe, let's see, let's pick that back up, straight metal pipe, place it back down about right, let's say, to where it's not obstructed, like, say, like, maybe, like, right here? That's probably about as good as that's going to get. Is that good? Is that good? Oh, kind of, but it still says it's obstructed. How's that obstructed by anything? I don't know. I guess if we keep. I guess I'll just keep trial and erroring this, seeing if I'll get any any, any progress here. Let's, let's place it about right here. It's good. Uh, about right there. That's probably about as good as that's going to get. See, I'm like it lines up pretty well, like right there. Can I zoom in on that? Like right there. Like look at that. That lines up so well with the the two triangles right there. So if this is able to be placed down here, it's going to be amazing, but... See, that's blocking a little bit there. It says it's obstructed. It's not obstructed by... I'm like, like, as we saw earlier, last episode, at the end of the last episode, half or, like, a quarter of the heckin' industrial cooker is, like, sticking outside the window there, so... I'm like, it seems like this idea could work here, but it seems like it, it keeps saying it's obstructed or whatever, which kind of sucks. I did also get some comments of you guys saying... Uh, like, like like other ideas for like this room over here saying like maybe a trophy room or something like that so you know maybe if i had let's see i don't know what i don't even know where we get any trophies like there isn't any bosses that dropped any trophy heads or anything like that that we could display on the wall which i think it could make sense so with that we could have one of those trophy what's it called like whoops i still don't have a tribe <laughs> i'm like i'm not in multiplayer or anything like that but uh like, like a trophy wall mount yeah here we go trophy wall mount uh i don't know what other trophies we could get here i don't know if we could have any like regular creatures and stuff like that, but, you know, we could probably put a bunch of heckin' heads all over the place here and it'd look really, really nasty looking or something really spooky and stuff, but I don't know. Like, maybe, like, right there, is that, I'm like, it's going to be sticking out quite a bit over here. Oh, oh, oh! Ooh, it seems like that worked out. Hold on. But unfortunately, because of how much it's sticking out there, it's kind of, like, I really want this to be a little bit back here a little bit, but it kept saying, oh, it's obstructed, it's obstructed. Seems like this might work. Seems like that guy that commented suggesting I should try this out. Seems like they're onto something here, so... You know what? Maybe I'll get... How many how many pipes do I have? I think I have, like, three or four of them or something like that. Maybe I'll just place down, like, four or five of them over here. Yeah, see, I have three of them right there in total. Maybe I'll just place down a bunch of them, a bunch of them over here. And, and just basically trial and error it and, and see... Like, right here, I think we had it. I think it was, like... You know, right there, and then it seemed like it successfully worked whenever we placed it. Oh, and it's trying to snap right now, unfortunately, so I guess I can't have them too close to each other. Oh, it's metal, metal foundation. Whoops. Pick up the actual pipe, so I think I'm going to have to place it somewhere in the middle here. About right there. Is that, is that going to work? Let's see. Is that going to work there? 
No. Oh, man. And I don't, I'm like, maybe I could have it the other way where the pipes or the, uh, okay, metal pipe there. Where the, oh, oh there you go. Where the actual industrial cooker is like facing this away, perhaps? Like, perhaps I could do that. Like, maybe put this here and then have another pipe right there and then see if, see if it'll connect to that. I'm like, it keeps saying it's obstructed, unfortunately, so that kind of sucks. It's not even aligned here perfectly, right? Yeah, look at that. It's not even lined up to the vertice right there. So, yeah, that, even if it worked right there, I'd have to, I'd have to work out some of the, like, 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 like imperfections, I guess I could describe it as over here, unfortunately. But, uh, I'm like, I'm trying my best to, to, to make this potentially work out, but let's see if I put it here, put it here. Is that, I'm going to do this off camera. Yeah, see that, oh, well, now it's kind of in the wall a little bit there and it's saying obstructed. I really feel like we're onto something here, you guys. And we all know whenever I stop recording and I actually do a little bit of off camera trial and error, I, I, I like figure it out immediately. So I think I'm going to have to end up doing that here. Let me just pause the recording, get a bunch of trial and error done here. Oh yeah, that's not going to work. I'm like, it probably, it, Probably going to be placed down, but it's going to be... Yeah, see, it's in the middle of the room now, so... Yeah, I really need to push that back, which means... Putting this in, like, probably, like, starting out, like, maybe, like, right there or something like that. Okay. Well, let, let me do all this trial and error off camera, just while I have, like, literally an entire episode of me trying to place this down. <laughs> and then, uh, I think, I think for the industrial grill, I think we're able to place that down anywhere. It doesn't snap to a foundation or snap to a pipe or anything like that. We don't have to worry about that for the actual, uh, grill, fortunately, I think. So that's good, but let me let me keep trial and erroring this. See if I actually figure something out here and uh, get it placed down. And oh, oh, oh. oh well, yeah. See, look at that. We could definitely place that bag a little bit more. So maybe I'll place this pipe like right there between this and that. And see if that'll work. But yeah, let, let me get all that heck of trial and error done <laughs> off camera, so I'm wasting more of you guys' time. So I'll see you guys here in just a bit. All right, you guys, back with a bunch of heck and trial and error over here. Like I got it done as best as I can. Like it's it's not. Look perfectly lined up with the vertice there of that triangle there, but it's about as, and of course it's not pushed back to the wall as much as I'd want it to be. Like look at all the heck and room. I'd love it to go back a little bit more, but like it won't go any more than this. Like I even tried to push it. Like you see that brown right there. I used it as a reference point and slowly kept pushing it back, and then I it was like obstructed, so I pushed it back even more closer to that brown spot right there at rust. And this this is about as good as it's going to get, unfortunately. So I'm like, I guess if anything, it'll kind of be in the way. Uh, let's pick that. Oh! Whoops, I'm gonna have to load up the same. <laughs> oh my gosh. I get rid of a pipe and the whole heckin' thing breaks? Oh my gosh. Cut this out of the video. That this is terrible. Cut, cut. Let's let's redo everything. Take two. Ah oh, man. I guess back. Uh hopefully I cut that out of the video and whatnot, but uh I hope that I have this placed. I don't know if I I don't know. I might not have it placed down properly. Hold on, let me pick that back up. Let me get rid of this pipe right here. Oh no, that's the that's the foundation. Okay, pipe. Pick up that pipe. Okay, so I have this pipe here. Am I able to place that? Oh, I am. Okay. So I guess we could use that pipe. Connect it. Boom. There it is, right there. Is that? Mm, it's not. It's not lined up perfectly, right there. Look at that. Nah, I could have moved it a little bit better. Whatever. The OCD people, including myself, are going to be freaking out about that. But whatever. It's about as good as it's going to get without me spending literally my whole lifetime trying to get this perfect right. So. I guess, uh, uh, I think I'm able to, yeah, I'm able to make that come out right there, and I think I could use a flex pipe to put there, which means I could probably get rid of this one, yeah, get rid of that pipe, pick up that metal straight pipe there, that, yeah, that drops the flex pipe, and then we connect this up over here, right, I think, uh, okay, I, th I think we need to have a regular pipe come out there a little bit more, and then we use the flex pipe to patch that up, there we go, okay, so is that, is that irrigated now? Not irrigated, what? Wait, how? Hold on, hold on. Pick this up. Is this is this the only direction it's able to? Is this hooked up there? No. It's still not it. What? I'm so. How does it have water inside of it? By the way, if it's not your. Oh wait, no. There it is. It's going up, but it says it's not irrigated. Uh, I am very confused. The number went from 400 something. That's irrigated, obviously, because it's heckin' well. Yeah, I don't know. It, oh, there you go. Now it says it's irrigated. Okay. Actually, now that I think about it, now, now if I put the heckin' storage water pipe, water tank, if I put that over there, is it eventually going to update and say, oh, it is, it is indeed irrigated. If I put, yeah, see so if I put that right there, and if I just leave that there for a little while, and is that, is that SS, by the way? It is, okay. Uh, it still says it's irrigated. 
I'm like, it's not getting filled up with water, but maybe it will eventually. Like, this one had to wait until it was like... Actually, I don't know. 18, 20, 22, golly. I don't know. I, I guess that just... Yeah, I, I guess it just doesn't... I don't know. I, I guess I have to give up with the whole water tank thing. It's probably not that big of a deal anyways. Uh, put that up. But I guess we have this now set up over here. I guess if anything, we could have moved the well. That way we didn't have to have it this far away. But whatever. I guess that's fine. <laughs> not that big of a deal, huh? And then, of course, we need to put a tap over there because uh, it broke last episode or something like that, right? So we need to redo the tap. Let's see. Uh, tap. Taparoo. Uh, there you are. Uh, there you go, craft. Okay, so there you go. Let's actually see. Grill. If I need to make the industrial grill, what am I missing? Can I make that? I'm missing 11 crystal, really? <laughs> Okay, Helena, you know what to do. It's time to buy 11 crystal off of you. Uh, there you go. Let's buy 20. <laughs> that should be more than enough. Nine more than we really need. Okay, perfect. Let's get the grill going. Industrial grill. SS. So uh, there you go. And I, I, I don't think it's that big. I don't think it's huge. It should be able to fit in that room, but yeah, never know. Uh, that room seemed like it was able to fit the uh, industrial cooker, but it could just barely do that. And see, it's kind of in the way there, but I guess if I walk properly, like in the middle there, I'm able to squeeze through and whatnot. Yeah, see, look at that. It doesn't done snap. Oh, wow. The grill is heckin' huge. Golly. I guess I could try and line this up. Oh, I can't really go through walls that well there. Man. Uh, uh, let's see. Can I make this? It's like halfway. I don't know if I can have it like halfway in the ground. Oh, it says it needs to be placed on a floor whenever it does that. Oh my gosh! I don't know if this will work, you guys! Come on! Man! I'm like, it's doable, like I can squeeze through this, like it works, but... How, how's that lined up? Oh, it's not really lined up too well. Man! Like, look, look at all the room. Uh, is it me? I don't know. I feel like I centered that okay-ish. I don't know, you can probably count all these like little rungs or whatever here for the grill and then... I'll line it there, and then uh, it's probably not aligned properly. Man, whatever. It's here. We got the grill. We got the industrial cooker. Cooker. We have both of them in here. We can put all the raw meat inside here if we need it, right? So, uh, I guess, let's see. Put put a spot. I can't, I can't resource pull anything or else I have something selected. So, there you go. Uh, raw meat. We have 1,200 there, and we have a little bit inside. Duffer. Why do I have raw meat inside the vault? <laughs> there we go. Pull that over here. Start cooking that. Raw prime, uh, raw fish meat and stuff like that. Okay, so we have that inside the uh, the fridge. Okay, kind of want to keep that because it's good for tame and whatnot, right? But uh, and the gasoline, I, I I guess we don't need that because it isn't it. Oh, whoops! I think this is powered by the uh, the what do you call it over there? The uh, generator. I, th I think it's. I'm like even though this is like super duper far away, I think it's still powered by the generator, which is good. So we don't have to worry about that. But I guess eventually it worked out here, you guys. We got the industrial cooker. It's kind of a little bit of a tight squeeze here, even though I am. Thanos, I am buff, I'm, I'm tall, I'm like, somehow I'm able to fit through that door with my head and my <laughs> dumb over on and whatnot, but I'm like, I'm, I'm able to fit through that, I'm able to squeeze through that, so, I'm like, it works, it works, I'm like, maybe it would have been a really cool, like, trophy room if we were in a modded series, or like, you know, you know, you guys know what I mean, like, like, Ragnarok or, uh, Falgaro or something like that, where, you know, we end up killing a bunch of, like, wild bosses that just kind of roam all over the place, and I do have a bunch of heads to, like, mount on the wall. It would make for a really good trophy room, but, you know, for the intended purpose I originally had for this, of being, like, an industrial cooker, uh, industrial grill room, seems like it works out. Seems like it works pretty well, and it is making a lot of cooked meat and whatnot, and it is, it's serving its purpose, so. I guess, I guess mission success over here? I, I do still want to put, like, maybe, like, sloped roofs or something like that over there. Is that a word? Roofs? Roofs? <laughs> I do still want to put the sloped stuff there, just kind of get that going, and then, uh, this, let's see, how do I, how do I do that? I guess, do I put that there? I guess so, there you go, and then I can fill up my canteen over here, there you go. I did get a comment from someone, from someone saying I should make, like, a tech canteen, I don't know if, uh, where is that on this? I don't know if I ever made one, tech gravity grenade, where's the tech canteen, oh, whoops, canteen, yeah, there it is right there, actually, hold on, uh, and I, I think I have... Then I spawn it. I either spawn in the blueprint or spawn in the engram for the tech, uh, not the transmitter, but the, the thing to actually craft things in. Oh, wait, no. Water jar and fabricator. Oh, yeah. Tech replicator needs to be used at that. I don't know if we're actually able to make that, but holds three times the water of a standard canteen and can cool the water. Oh, wait. Can cool the water for extra refreshment. Okay, so I can put that inside of a fridge or something like that. Oh, yeah. I forgot you could do that. Yeah. I forgot you can get iced water. I don't know if you can do it with a canteen. I forget, but I know with a glass jar, water jar, whatever. Are you able to put inside of a fridge and it, uh, <laughs> the fridge still says that? Is that able to, is that turn into ice or, or what? I don't know. 
carries a sizable and reasonable light, reasonably lightweight. I don't know. I guess it only works with either the tech canteen or a regular, like like ice jar, crystal jar, whatever glass jar. I guess it only works that way. Uh, but yeah, you are supposed to get a little bit extra refreshment by it being like cold with ice and whatnot, right? So that's a really cool little bit of detail there, which could work out if we end up making that egg and transmitter. I think we actually did not make that. Yeah, the. I still, yeah, okay. I, I guess I need to actually spawn in the blueprint or spawn in the engram or whatever, and then we can make it. Which, speaking of such, <laughs> we pull that up again. What? What is the rest? What are we missing? Twenty-five hundred metal. We get three hundred twenty polymer, forty element, two hundred fifty crystal. I guess we'll buy that, and then black pearls. We have tons of that. I did get a comment from so, from someone reminding me, hey, you could actually make muta gen out of all the muta gel that you have. I think I mentioned that in the uh, last episode. I forget how muta. Oh wait, what in the world? SS mutator. Unleashes the full power of element to alter dinos in powerful ways. Ooh. I don't know if that's technically considered cheating or anything like that, because I know people do like whole breeding things to try and get certain mutations and whatnot. Maybe this is an interesting way to have a little bit more control over that. Should I experiment with this? I don't know. Seems relatively cheap. It's 550 metal ingots and 80 polymer and 10 element and 55 crystal and 20 blank pearls, but still need to get the actual replicator so I can actually craft all this stuff, which. I'm like, if you guys don't know, when I'm like, in Genesis Part 1, we did beat the, like, the final boss or whatever, so we should have the Engrome, but for some reason, whenever I started Genesis Part 2 with the same character, by the way, it didn't, uh, it reset all my Engromes, and therefore I don't have any tech rooms or anything like that, so that's why I'm kind of, like, like, justifying spawning in Engrams or spawning in blueprints or whatever, and a lot of you guys seem to understand that, but, you know, just in case you're jumping into the series for the first time and you're like, oh man, he's cheating. I'm like, technically I am if I'm spawning and stuff, but it's kind of making up for like whatever glitch of the Engrams and Tekrams not carrying over from Genesis part one. So hopefully you guys understand that if you guys are wondering. Either way, what was I doing just a second ago? <laughs> I was trying to do something. Uh, oh yeah, another thing I, I just mentioned, making Muta gel out of, yeah, Muta gel out of all, or, yeah, you guys know what I mean. Making either Muta gel out of Muta gen or making Muta gen out of Muta gel. Uh, how, how, do you, how do you make Muta gen? Because that, yeah, okay, Mutagel, that's the base part, that's what we have. To make Mutagen, that's what we need to use to tame Void Worms. Yeah, you guys remember that? How do we make that, though? If we want to get, oh yeah, 800 Mutagel gives you one Mutagen. Okay, so that is pretty like, expensive. Golly. But we have hundreds over here, don't we? Don't we have, like, literally a thousand or something like that? Or, I'm like, I, I feel like I countered it not too long ago, but uh, I don't think this is the same biome. Oh, wait, no, it is the crystal, or, uh... The, 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 the pearl biome, so, you know, I could get a little bit more mutagen, but, or mutagel, but unfortunately, you know, if we had the ambergris biome, that would get us way more mutagen, or mutagel, golly. But yeah, we do have 800 over here. Oh yeah, and the chemistry station, I forgot, that was another thing I wanted to make. Chemistry, or chemistry bench, golly, you guys know what I mean. <laughs> a, a refrigerated one, uh, 250, I'm like, it's the same resources, right? Uh, oh, if anything, it does require extra... Oh wait, no, it done. Okay, yeah, it is literally the exact same resources. So I guess we'll get the AA refrigerated chemistry bench, and we can make that. We need the AA workbench, which is automated arc, which we still, I'm like, if we're ever gonna heck and jump into automated arc, it might as well be now, when we have a brand new base, right? Where's the bench at on this one? I think it's uh like somewhere at the very front here, right? Yeah, there, okay, yeah, we already have that unlocked, perfect. So I guess we'll actually just make that, and then uh, I, I, I yeah, like automated arc, like the name kind of suggests like everything can be automated, like, uh, you could set up certain like vaults and stuff like that to like suck in certain items so I could have a vault specifically for like metal and like every time we come home with a bunch of metal onto my tech strider then it'll automatically pull from him into there like I don't even have to think about it I think so that's a really cool thing that's definitely what I want to do sometime you guys so like I've been saying this for like three or so different series now but you guys know what I mean golly I guess we'll put this on actually you know what let's get this crafting station is there anything in there uh not really I could definitely carry all that and then I guess we'll take all these around it and I'll put I'll take I'll, I'll put the SS what am I saying right now <laughs> there I grab all that I'll put the SS crafting station on top of the AA crafting station golly like double letters all over the place confusing me and stuff and there's more stuff here 5,000 stone oh my gosh I need to get all that out of there jeez that weighs a ton okay so yeah there you go pull all that inside there's 16,000 stone right there jeez way more than I'm ever going to need golly but uh, let's pick that up and then uh, because the AA workbench is physically bigger. Oh, what in the world? It has this like name like rotating around it. So you guys see that? It's kind of weird. <laughs> I don't know if I like that. But uh, let's see. Is this lined up? Well, can't tell. 
I think this is the middle foundation here, which means placement like this, right? Is that good? That's probably about as good as that's going to get. Wow, they actually improved the automated arc like thing here. Like, look at that. <laughs> that's a little bit like, like I remember how it looked uh, in Ragnarok or uh, well, I guess I didn't we have it. I don't know if we had it in Ragnarok, but back in uh, Valgaro, it looked a lot different than this. Didn't have particles coming out of it and stuff like that, but that's kind of cool. And then because this is smaller, I guess we can put this on top. It's going to be like floating inside like an automatic arc thing. So there we go. <laughs> there we go. Oh, God, it's, oh, it's off center. Golly. OCD is just freaking out over here, you guys. I need to. Need, need to settle it down. Yeah, that's probably about as good as that's going to get, honestly. So there it goes. We could use the SS one here. We could use the AO, AA one here. Okay, so that actually works out now. <laughs> Jeez. Let's get the uh, chemistry station now. Chemistry bench. Golly. Chemistry bench. Can we make that? We are missing crystal. Golly. Polymer and spark powder and spend paste. Golly. I've got, well, I've got spend paste right here. So there you go. And then spark powder and crystal and polymer. We could do that, okay. And then if we actually get that, I guess we could put it up over here where the uh, the industrial cooker was earlier on. So that's good. But either way, let me gather all those resources. It's going to take quite a while to get all the polymer and spark powder. Shouldn't be too bad. Uh, if anything, we do have these, which I could use at least temporarily until the chemistry station, chemistry station, chemistry bench, which I think is able to basically replace four of these mortar and pestles anyway, or uh, six of these mortar and pestles anyways. Like, it's able to craft like six times as much as a mortar and pestle, which is better than the four I have right now, right? So it's a lot better than that away. Uh, but I guess I'll get a bunch of these going if I can. Okay, only 20 crafts. I'm missing a bunch of flint. Guess I'll have to buy that or <laughs> go out and get a bunch. Actually, you know what? Yeah, off camera, I wanted to get a bunch of berries for the text strider so I can keep making uh, medical brews over here at the uh, industrial cooker. I forgot to do that a couple episodes ago. So let me actually uh, go out to, I guess, that away the regular area and get a bunch of berries get a bunch of flint whatever else i might need and uh uh while that's all happening i guess i'll go over here and make a bunch of polymer i forget how much uh polymer we do need but i guess we'll get like a hundred or something like that is that enough there you go 100 crafts we're gonna be using a lot of the cement paste i'm trying to use but uh chemistry chemistry there you go <laughs> uh polymer 250 actually golly i need way more than that golly all right 250 is this able to make uh, 125 more no, it's not. I'm missing more submitted pace. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. Well, as you can see, there's a lot of heckin' crafting and resource collection I'm going to have to do ahead of me, you guys. So, I'm just pause recording, get a bunch of that stuff done, I guess. And I'll see you guys here in just a bit. And hopefully, uh, I'm able to make one submitted pace. Are you kidding me? <laughs> and, uh, whenever I come back, hopefully, we're actually able to get that, like, what's it called? Refrigerated chemistry bench. We can place it down over here. And uh, that's going to be basically done. And hopefully, we'll have a bunch more Tinto berries and whatever else for this. And uh, I don't know, maybe we'll make like a farm over here. Maybe we'll make that and like connect it up over here and then we'll put it up, hook it up to the well. Or maybe we'll bench, make it like its own well over here or something like that. We'll have a pretty cool space farm going on over here. That'd be pretty cool. But until then, let me just pause the recording, get a bunch of all that crafting and resource collection, all that kind of stuff done real quick. <laughs> and I'll see you guys here in just a bit. All right, guys, I'm back. And I got so much heckin like berries and, 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 and insane amounts of fiber, by the way, with the texture adder going to the regular biome over there and just like mining everything. Like, look at all the berries we have over here. Tinto berries out the butthole, even more up there and uh, a bunch of seeds over here as well. Like we have like every type of seed we'll ever need and like hundreds of them. So, yeah, we, we could definitely get that farm started here pretty soon. You guys, this is going to be amazing. And of course, tons of fiber and uh, even got a little bit of flint. And uh, we had a lot of stone as well, but I dropped that because we already have a ton of stone here anyways. But we should be able to make the chemistry station now, right? Yep. The AA refrigerated chemistry bench. So let's get that going. That way we can. Oh, wow. That was weird. I don't know if you guys heard like a weird, like loud noise whenever it got made right there. That was kind of strange. But I guess we can put it in this corner right here. Uh, it might not be aligned perfectly, but uh, eh, it's probably, eh, it's probably about as good as that. Again. I, don't, I don't know if I want to place it against the wall like this. I'm like, I guess I could. I'm like, yeah. Like, uh, yeah, I'm like, there you go. Just kind of take use of the unique shape of this building here. There is that good? Uh, I don't know why there's still a space right there. It wouldn't let me put it back any further than that, unfortunately. But it's not powered right now, unfortunately. Uh, refrigerates materials and requires only power to be activated. How's it unpowered right now? Unless I have to switch it over to... Oh, I, I think if any, I, I think it needs uh, gasoline, right? Like, it doesn't use, like, electricity from the generator over there, right? I think it needs gas. So if I put a little bit over here... Oh, I know! Only power to be activated. Is this out of power? No, it's got plenty here, and it's turned on. Uh, how is this? So if I put this here, right next to the heck generator, right next to the... Uh, oh, yeah, see, look at that, now it's powered. 
but somehow the drill over here is powered, even though it's even further away. So I guess I have to have a little bit of electric. Okay, I guess I have to have a little bit of wiring over here. I don't know if you're the is there such a thing as like foundation wiring for electricity, like foundation, like wiring, because we we had that for pipes as we saw a couple episodes ago. I don't know if there's the same thing for, uh, let's see, wire. Oh yeah, there is SS internal wiring. Cool. Okay. So which one? Do, okay, we well, we have I have a mixture of regular triangles. I, I guess maybe I could do it through the walls or something. Pillars, nah. I guess I could just do square foundations and then triangle foundations. I'm going to have to alternate it between the two of them. Or I can just straight up uh, just go over here. Oh, whoops. Oh, I guess I turned it off right there. Whoops. Uh, and, and then do hide wires if I really care that much, right? But yeah, I guess I'll have to pick this up and actually wire this a little bit better, unfortunately. Man, I've got this guy over here kind of in the way. I don't know if... I don't know if I actually do. Do I, do I still want it to be like this? Or Actually, hold on. If I place it here, it's going to be technically a little bit closer to that generator. Is he going to work if I... And out there. Oh, wait, look at that. I didn't have to do a thing. The wire somehow stretches from over there. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if I could actually have that wire hide itself. I think so, right? Let's see. Hide wires. Oh, it hide. Okay, it hides that wire, but it doesn't hide like this little... Whatever. It's kind of distracting, honestly. <laughs> Maybe I'll move that upwards a little bit more so it's kind of out of the way or something, huh? Man, okay, whatever. At least this works. I could I could turn it on. It's powered. I could make a bunch of uh, cement paste or whatever else I might want over here, and then but oh my gosh, instantly done. Boom, six of them right there. <laughs> Holy heck, that's amazing! All right, well that's that's good that it works, and it's good that it's set up and all that kind of stuff. I just have to you know, a couple things over here, and I guess going from right here to right there, it makes it a little bit too far away. But somehow, the grill over here is powered. I I still don't know how that works. I don't know. Maybe SS stuff has. Like longer range or something like that. I don't know compared to AA. I don't know. I don't know how it works. I don't. Know, I don't. I don't know, like why it does that. But uh, oh, by the way, look at the ref look at the reflections on the ceilings coming from the uh, the AA workbench. That's kind of interesting. Oh yeah, you guys see that? I don't know. Oh, it's coming from the lettering that says automated arc. You see it on the ceiling there. It's kind of strange. But uh, yeah, see, look at that. We got a bunch of spender base there. I guess we can put that up inside of the vault just for storage. I do have a lot of crystal. I I, I bought like 500 crystal from Helena, like 6,000 like hexagons. So we're down to 133,000. So yeah, we're down quite a significant amount right there, which kind of sucks. But I'm like, we did a lot of home, like housekeeping or whatever you want to call it. Then maybe I'll make it. I don't know. Maybe make a wire or something like that. Make that go up a little bit more. Uh, but we did a lot of housekeeping these past couple episodes. I'm thinking about potentially ending this episode off right here. In the next episode, we could do another mission. Let, let, speaking of such, what other mission can we do next? We did Code Red Lab. Okay, I guess we could do another race next episode. Interesting. Shoot the Whitewater Rapids in a... Wait, what? Shoot the Whitewater Rapids in a frantic paddle for control of shipboard hy hydroponics? So is this, I guess this is like in the real world, and this is Downriver Run. Does that mean... How do I get out of there? There you go. There's a river that goes around, like, starting from home base right there and going clockwise on that, like, northeast, like, quadrant. I guess you could describe that as. I guess that's the river they're talking about. It, well, there are a ton of rivers, but la that one kind of goes in a circle. I would not be surprised if that's the river that it's talking about. But I think it actually starts on that right side and then, like, circles counterclockwise and then eventually goes to home base. Because I think, it, like, like, there's waterfalls and stuff like that. So I think that might be that might be what this mission is all about. And of course, we could just go to the nearby mission selector do hickey thingy and uh, start the mission from there. Down river run. And it'll just teleport us wherever we need to go. Five player max. No tames allowed, unfortunately. Usually for these races, it gives you a tame. Uh, and then you have to use, that, you know, just kind of a little bit of an equalizer. So everyone uses the same critter, right? But shoot the white water rapids in a frantic paddle for control of the shipboard hydroponics. Either that, either it's that river that I just mentioned, or it's like that under underground water like ocean biome that we saw not too long ago so it's, it's either one of those two but i guess we'll have to wait until next episode to find out so until then thank you guys all very much for watching if you guys enjoyed the video be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below and if you guys want more of these awesome videos be sure to hit that subscribe button and while you're down there be sure to ring that bell so youtube sends you a notification as soon as the next episode of arc genesis part 2 comes out and we end up doing that race and Maybe another mission, depending on how long uh, it takes for us to beat that. Maybe it's going to be multiple attempts or something like that. I don't know. I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Uh, hold on. I'm making these wires. I, I guess we'll try and figure this out real quick. Let, let me pick up the electrical outlet. There, I pick that up. And I know I could use that. Oh, what in the world? Oh, I picked up the cable there. Man! <laughs> now I have to make another outlet over here. Golly. <laughs> outlet. Let's make that. Boom. There you go. Perfect. 
All right, so let's get that going. And I guess we can place that up a little bit and we'll have actually have to make it like physically taller or anything like that over here or, or like in the walls or anything like that. We'll just make it a little bit taller like that. And I guess it's in the ceiling slash whatever that is now, huh? Yep, there you go. And then boom. Well, now that's all down. That, well, it's a little bit better than it going from like right there to there. And this is still powered, right? Yep, that's still powered. And the industrial grill is still powered, right? I assume so. That'd be kind of weird if it wasn't. Okay, yeah, that's still powered. Perfect. All right. And do I see that whenever I go up the up this? Do I see the wire coming out of the ground now? No, I don't. Awesome. Actually, is it outside the window? I don't think so. Awesome. I don't see it at all. Cool. Unless it's like right there. I don't know. Either way, I don't, I don't see it at all. So that's all that really matters. But until then, or until next episode, when we do that heckin' race, thank you guys all very much for watching. And I'll see you guys here next time with some more Arc Genesis Part 2. Oh, bye there.